out of y'all. So I just want to give my gratitude and love to you guys because I've been having a little bit of a rough past week and I just want to say that it's just nice to be able to connect with y'all for this type of video. So let's get into this. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Taurus, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading, Taurus. Now I also do your weekly you versus them reading between you and your person, Taurus, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point. But when it comes to any of my readings, Taurus, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it, Taurus. If you find some cards that resonate with you, be sure to let me know in the comments below because that's how I keep up with y'all is through the comments, right? Uh, I always love hearing y'all's aha moments that you have with the tarot cards. Um, if you do have some cards that resonate with you, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to us because it does help my channel a lot. I always am super appreciative when you guys take the time to do that for me. Uh, and then lastly, this reading is just here to give you some perspective, Taurus. I'm not here to make a decision in your life. It's your life to live and not mine, right? So take the cards that resonate. Hopefully this reading gives you something to uh, think about, some food for thought for you to go throughout your week. But yeah, with all that being said, let's just get into your reading. We're going to get into career. We're going to get into love. We're going to get into the general dramas of things. So let's just get started with the overall energies first and foremost, Taurus. Um, the two cards that popped out for you. I was only going to pull one for you, Taurus, but then the High Priest, or actually the Star card, uh, came forward for you. But the other card, the first card, I guess, that I pulled for you was the Lover's card. So... I mean, Taurus, I am going to just, like, state the obvious in this, right? For those of you that... Um, your focus is in terms of love or your focus, I guess, more so would just be something that you hold intimately closely to you, right? Um, the lovers represents like, I mean, literally like the lovers, right? Your person. But also signifies a, um, more so is like the significance or the representation, Taurus, of something that you just hold, like that you hold closely to. Um, it is also the representation of a big decision. And what is it about? The star card. So this would be letting me know kind of of like that deepest desire. So again, you know, for some of you guys, uh, Taurus, if you, your mind is on love, that does seem to be a pretty promising week. I see like forward progression in this regard. Um, just because the star card is that card of wish fulfillment, right? It's that card of cleansing. So maybe even if it's not in regards to love for you, Taurus, whatever it is that, um, is a big decision in your life that is, uh, that you hold, like, let's, let's, th let's think of an example, Taurus, so I can stop speaking in vagaries. Let's just say you have a, um, like you really just wanted to um, accomplish like a uh, career goal of yours. This is a week where I start, I feel like you're going to start seeing the results or like start seeing the progression towards actually being able to retain that, right? The star card is the representation of something feeling kind of unattain unobtainable to you, Taurus, but you still kind of want it. There's something that's still like in like deep inside of you that really continues to push you to continue striving for this even if deep down you feel as if you're not going to be able to accomplish it it doesn't really matter because it's just like you you yourself just want to um still reach out for this and i i don't know i just i'm not going to repeat myself any further on it taurus i just see this to be very promising cards um in that way it's just overall promising cards in general for the uh for the energy of this week so first let's uh let's actually start getting uh start getting into some energies of um what do we want to start with let's start with career taurus let's start with a uh, career what's going on that week this week with career for you let's see if we can get any insight on that the cards are already flying out we have three cards coming out for you unintentionally for this i guess so we have the Six of Swords coming in, the Death card, ooh, honey, <laughs> but with the Ten of uh, Cups. So we could take this a two ways, Taurus. Um, I say ooh with this just because it's like you're walking away from, like, normally just with the Six of Swords, you're walking away from something. Normally with this type of card, it's, Taurus, it's usually like a, something you don't normally, like, it's not something you willingly wanted to do. It wasn't like your idea, perhaps, right? So it's like you're not going to fight it right but it is one of those things where it's just like you're you're gonna leave and it's not necessarily tail tail between your legs because you're not ashamed of anything i don't think taurus but it's more of like a just like bummed out it's just like man like did it really have to be this way i did you really didn't want to have to be pushed to this point i feel um the death card comes in taurus for you because it's like 
kind of more so like kind of uh if you didn't already have this feeling before Taurus, this is kind of coming in of where it's just like final, right? Or where it's going to be like that. It's not going to be something coming back from, you know, it's that sobering experience. And I think you deep down, you know this when you're walking away from the situation. Um, so this is heavily letting me know in terms of career or in terms of career, rather. Um, for some of you Tauruses, it seems to be you're wanting to shift away um, from something. This kind of is an energy also of... Um, no, actually, I I do feel like this is letting me know, like, thoughts of, like, if this isn't actively happening, Taurus, I feel like this is where your thoughts are in the sense of, um, you know the next step, like, you know that you need to, like, move on, you know that there's something in your work life that isn't fulfilling, that you need to have be a change, because it is, it just isn't working out in this way. Ten of Cups is what it is that you're striving for, right? You're wanting that completeness. So, so for some of you guys, Ten of Cups, this is that family card. So maybe for some of you, Tauruses, you're kind of overwhelmed or, like, haunted with the fact of just being maybe you need to be paid more so you can help out your family maybe you want to do a different job that isn't as draining for you or as stressful for you Taurus, just because maybe it's affecting your family life is something that i'm getting or maybe just like your work life in general just stops you from being able to have like a fulfilling social life or be able to like have like that love that we talk about um that lover's card right or maybe you, you need that process of like starting to take like the steps of making time for the things that you yourself want right whatever it is i just see like a transition um or at least the urge of trans urge i don't know why i was saying that weird urge or transition towards um from what it is that you're currently uh potentially doing but we're gonna pull a couple more uh clarifiers for this Taurus, just to like confirm and see what's up eight of pentacles queen of swords yes and then ten of wands coming in here so Let's break this down a little bit more, Taurus. What does this mean? So, Ten of Wands, this is letting me know that something in your work, if it's not your work itself, it's something in your work life, Taurus. It's been weighing you down, um, kind of putting you in this place of this Queen of Swords, which I feel like is puts you more on edge, right? So, whether this is like you are work all day, come home, and you're just on edge because you have a stressful job, and it affects, like, your family life, right? Because it's like you can't fully relax because it's like you're just stressed. You're not able to just unwind. Um... Yeah, it just, and you realize it's the ba the baggage for what it is, and you realize something, some type of transition needs to change, something that needs to, um, move on, like, some, yeah, I don't know what, I keep on repeating myself as something needs to change, and maybe that's just, like, something that's been going on in your head as well, Taurus. Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles is letting me know more so of, like, this is that card of going back to school. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean going, like, to college or something like that, Taurus, while it could, um, it more so is just like a uh, researching, right? Uh, you could be researching like a different way of uh, living that you want to have. Just something that I feel like is more fulfilling to you, or at the very least fills up your cups more, whether that's like finding a job that fills up your cups in terms of financial situation, or it just fills up your cup in terms of like fulfillment. So that way, you're, when you're able to come home at night, you're not feeling just dead exhausted and just blah, right? So, interesting energy for career. I like that, though. I really do. It's um, good transition. I, all good cards, it seems, right? So, with that being said, let's now jump into... Uh, what do we want to jump into next, Taurus? Let's get into the love life for those that are interested in love now, Taurus. I'm going to try to go through this pretty quickly just because I like to cover this in terms... Uh, the love more so in terms of my you versus them readings, right? But I still pull a card or so for this, for love, right? We have five of cups. So regardless of whether it's like similar to the career situation, this also for some of you Tauruses, you're transitioning or moving on in terms of this, a person, right? You're something in like in your love life. And I don't want to even just say love life. I feel like it's important for me to just more so speak from something that you hold closely to you, right? So, you know, this could be like a close friend, um, best friend, perhaps even. Five of cups is that energy of where it's just like, maybe there was an argument right or maybe someone messed up right that's why i'm getting someone messed up or there's an argument and there's just like this phase of where it's just like <sighs> there's just like a sobering energy when it comes to this card we're gonna pull some a few clarifiers for this taurus just to see what's up wow 
Okay, yeah, this is confirming it, <laughs> Taurus. So we have four of wands coming in. Four of wands, this lets me know if like, this is like your best friend. This is like your, like someone that you just hold closely to you. I just feel like there's like some type of conflict that happened, some type of pain because three of swords happens. Now, Taurus, I don't know, um, because just in the um, sake of just being neutral, I'm not going to say who it is, right? You know your situation, right? But there is, seems, there does seem to be speaking of some type of pain that's happened that probably causes five of the cups situation, which also lets me know, um, this spilled, these spilled cups came from like an argument of some sort. Just some type, maybe a misunderstanding. King of Swords lets me know, probably this is you just to be, to be honest, Taurus, because you already have the Queen of Swords in your first energy, so you just make this, like, transition um, from your work life to, like, your personal life of being, like, your work life is super stressful, home life, you have to be, like, the responsible one. Maybe you are, you, maybe you, Taurus, feel like the only adult in your life, and, like, you have to be responsible for everybody, and um, putting, like, the whole weight on, like, putting all the weight on your shoulders and it's just like i don't know it just feels like i can't help but feel like with the love situation or just like your social situation we'll call it taurus like it feels like someone's like fed up and just like tired <laughs> someone's like tired and frustrated um with uh carrying like the weight of something it feels magician card in the reverse yeah it feels like uh taurus it feels as if you feel at least I'm seeing this as maybe you perhaps feel as if you're the only one putting effort into the situation and just like causing you some pain. And let's, let's see what card finally flew out. Three of Wands, it's leading you to be like, what do you want to do next? I don't see you necessarily making a choice this week. I see you more so just in a place of self-reflection, Taurus, when it comes to the situation and this person that um, these cards are addressing. So with that now, let's get into your drama now, the dramas of the life, the general part of this reading, right? See what general messages we have, what advice we can get from spirit, Taurus. Mm -mm. How do y'all also let me know, Taurus? Let me know how y'all feel about this new um, general reading format for those that are already familiar with my general readings. I think I like this a little bit more now. Um, I like the structure. So uh, getting into your general part of this, the dramas of it all, Taurus, uh, we have three cards that popped out for you again. We have Seven of Pentacles coming in. We have Nine of Pentacles coming in, and then we have Page of Cups coming in. So Page of Cups, uh, right off the bat, I will just address just because we had that lover's card with the star. This is talking about a new person coming into your life. So for those that are interested in love, Taurus, pay attention to the social interactions that you have this week, because perhaps um, it's coming in as that Page of Cups. This also talks about the deepening of relationships. So maybe even in regards to the situation, Taurus, maybe this conflict, this pain needed to happen because it's going to eventually bring you guys closer in some type of way right depending on what the pain is right if it's something maybe it's just like a misunderstanding like i kind of feel like it is you know this is just can be a place of understanding one another right and when you have nine of pentacles this is a really good self-sufficient energy a really independent energy paired with the seven of pentacles this is an energy where it's just like keep doing what it is that you're doing towards you're not on the wrong path at all when, especially when you have the star card uh taurus this is letting me know like this is like you're on the right path you're making the right decisions for your life um the only thing i would say is like with this kind of suggestion um taurus it's almost as if like keep doing what you're doing but be open to changing the making edits be open to changing don't be just so stuck in your ways right maybe there's something uh this week that could maybe like just tilt your like change you like five degrees to the left or something like that right does that make sense that's what i feel feel for you so getting some final clarifiers for this taurus for you we have six of wands this is the victory card really good card um i feel like yeah like this is just like so such an affirming message towards that you're just if you're having any type of anxiety or having like a midlife crisis or a quarter life crisis as i like to say right um don't freak out anymore because you this is a victory card in terms of like your path ace of pentacles two of cups you have a lot of greatness coming towards you taurus right um and you can even look up the cards your, the, yourself right of the meanings of these cards right i'm not just like blowing smoke up your ass just because right you even also have back of the deck energy page of cups so heavily emphasizing someone coming into your life or just the deepening of something already i just see a lot of growth 
uh, two of cups also with this, with all these cup, two pages of cups coming in, two of cups coming in, if it's not a new person in your life, uh, Taurus, I would really say don't uh, cut this person off. And this is just for my, if I were to take, to have this reading for myself, Taurus, because I see that the Page of Cups talks about the deepening of relationships, Two of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, lets me know it's worth it. Ace of Pentacles, I also say is like that, um, that blank check from the universe, right? Where it's like, you decide how much you're going to like write down. Also, I see this as the, a communication card. So there's so many different ways, obviously, as you can take that, um, this general portion of it. I feel like this is more so like a, this third spread more so serves as like a uh just a addition and really trying to uplift the other messages that came forward Taurus I feel lover's card as well coming in so really really like I'm really trying hard Taurus not to like talk about people like love love in this type of reading but it's really coming in strong or just like a close connection um an emotional connection um, which could just be highlighting that this is just, you're dealing with a lot of social dramas this week. Um, but I see it regardless of it, a lot of deepening of that, right? A lot of depth happening, a lot of wish fulfillment happening in regards to this. So yeah, Taurus, that's the cards that I have for you. Let's pull a quick Oracle card, see what message we can get from the animal Oracle. Um, I hope this reading was helpful to you. Be sure to let me know in the comments which card resonated with you the most. Give this video a like and subscribe and then share my videos with a friend, Taurus, um, as well. If you think a friend might be into my videos as well, I would really appreciate it. But closing off your reading, Taurus, we have the antelope spirit. Life is speeding up which makes so much sense for you. Uh, number two, so write down two for numerology, Taurus. Um, I don't feel like I need to like get into a whole spiel with this. I'm going to be honest. Life is speeding up. And that's kind of what I see. Like you have this death card coming in. You're transition. You're making transitions. You're on the right path, right? And I just see things, the momentum building up for you, right? You're in that transitional phase. So don't feel like you're stuck in a rut. You're, you're on the right path, Taurus. Get out of your head if you are in your head. But um, yeah, it's reading a half you. I love you so much. And until next time, Taurus. Bye.